In this lecture, we're going to look at the units of measurement as covered in chapter 3.2. This lecture is largely definitional. Be able to define SI units or System International units, basically metric. Be able to define meter, gram, joule, calorie, absolute zero, and density. Be able to identify the correct metric unit for any given quantity and identify the correct system international prefix for a unit at a given quantity. So how large it is, be able to use the right prefix, kilograms versus grams. Be able to convert quantities using the same unit. So be able to convert one gram to how many kilograms that is. Be able to compare temperature scales and calculate density. Here are the base units for the international system. All nations except the U.S. Liberia and Myanmar, formerly Burma, use this system. We actually use this system pretty often for a lot of different purposes. We, for example, measure things in seconds. And if you ever look at the side of your cereal box, you're going to see things measured in grams. You're on a 5K, you're measuring that in meters. So there are plenty of different times to use this. And scientists use it because, let's face it, it is easier to convert things between different sizes. So we can look at this and automatically see these are powers of 10. And you can see that scientific notation 10 to the something value. So if we wanted to know how many meters in a kilometer, we're just going to take the meters and move it up to kilometers. And we're going to have 1 times 10 to the negative third is 1 meter in kilometers. So how many milligrams in a kilogram and that kind of thing, you can easily convert these between one another as opposed to something like how many ounces in a barrel. First off, the meter. One meter is defined by the speed of light in a vacuum. So there is a way of measuring how far light will travel in a given number of seconds in a vacuum. So not through a gas and not through a liquid. And we use this in the five kilometer run, we use 5,000 meters, five kilometers. For shorter length, we use something like centimeters. One inch is 2.54 centimeters. And one mile is 1.61 kilometers. Kilometers. The milliliter and the liter. One milliliter is one cubic centimeter of water at four degrees Celsius at sea level. Why those specificities? Well, because water is densest at four degrees Celsius and because sea level is just something that is very replicable throughout the world. I mean, 75% of the world is at sea level. So one liter is going to be 1,000 milliliters. One gram is how much that one milliliter of water is going to weigh. One kilogram is 1,000 grams, and we already see grams on the side of, of this hot pocket nutrition facts label, nutrition there being somewhat generous. For weight and force, we measure that using newtons. No, not fig newtons. A uh, newton is one kilogram per meter per second squared. So it's amount of force being given off on something. So that's the amount of force required to accelerate one kilogram by one meter per second squared. We're going to get into acceleration uh, more in physics and physical science. We actually measure weight in newtons, not in grams. Grams are a measurement of mass. Weight is the measurement of how that mass is affected by Earth's gravity which Earth's gravity is 9.8 meters per second squares. That's an acceleration. The joule and the calorie are measures of energy. A joule is one newton of force in a single second. And a calorie is the quantity of heat it takes to raise the temperature of one gram of water by one degree Celsius. What's Celsius? Well, Celsius is a measure of temperature. Uh, Celsius scale goes from zero to 100. Zero is going to be freezing. 100 is going to be boiling. That's just for water. So we can't actually measure things in negative Celsius and Celsius over 100. It's just we calibrate it using water at sea level. Uh, degrees Kelvin is a different type of measurement, which starts at absolute zero. Absolute zero is how cold things can get. It's the absolute coldest something can get. So it's Absolute zero is negative 273.15 degrees Celsius. So that's where degrees Kelvin is going to start. You just add 273.15 to your Celsius measures. Density is how much mass is packed in a given unit of volume. So what are the units of mass and what are the units of volume? Well, mass can be measured in grams and volume can be measured in cubic centimeters. So we are going to measure this as grams per cubic centimeter. Momentum doesn't have special units and is measured as kilograms per meters per second, but that's not really going to be used in this course. You're thinking physics and physical science.